Hey everybody, welcome back to the Video Game Collection. Today, we're going to be doing a Nintendo 3DS. There's going to be no specific order, so I'm just going to tell you what I got and uh, see what you think of it. So, today, first we're going to start off with Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. I have actually beaten both games. Uh, have not really done the after stories on both games, but I gotta say I really liked Pokemon X and Y. But my main game I did play the first was Pokemon X. I just do X and Y first. Reason: Whatever is the first Pokemon ti name title of both games, or so let's say Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, I pay I play Ruby first, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. I played Diamond first. You got it? Red, blue, yellow. I played red first, so that's why I played X first. So. Pokemon X and Y. Next is Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth, what I can't say anything about because I actually have not played it yet. I actually just barely got this. So, all I can say is I'm, I can't wait to try it out, and it's the only game I have that's colored for its uh, spine, so everything else is white. So, I have high hopes for Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth. Next is Yoshi's New Island. Basically, I've been hearing things that it's not great like the original Yoshi's Island or Yoshi's Island DS, but it's still a Yoshi game, so I mean, even if it's mediocre, it's still good anyways. Next is Animal Crossing New Leaf. I just barely got this as well. Uh, thanks to XX Dragon Ball Z X4X for giving me this game, and uh, well, there was not really much to it other than it's Animal Crossing, and I know a lot of people going to start telling me open your freaking gate so I'm ready for you guys comments or Twitter Twitter's Twitter which I don't want to get on Twitter more so next is Tales of the Abyss um, Tales of the Abyss is one of my favorite tales of games but it's not better in, in my opinion some Foley or so Exilia but I really like Tales of the Abyss next is Mario Kart 7 which I actually have 100% completed this game uh, including any, like all the gliders, wheels, carts, everything. So I ain't got a launch date and everything. Next is One Piece Romance Dawn. One Piece Romance Dawn. It's really interesting. It's like it's an RPG, but it's just it's One Piece. I mean, there's not really much for us to say. And apparently, there was a limited run of this, which there I got number six thousand five hundred thirty-one out of one hundred six. 16,800, so I'm like half. Cool. So, oh, I would really would like to know who got copy number one, or or if they kept it, number one copy, what was the very, like, let's say they kept five copies for some reason at the headquarters of Bandai or Namco or whoever made it. Do you have to give one to, like, every employee, possibly, every developer, every publisher, every, everything, so what would be the first number actually, like, released outside in the public? That's what I'm curious about, so, but whoever had number one, I'm, you, you might be lucky, dude. So anyways, next is Paper Mario Sticker Star. How I wonder where you are. Paper Mario Sticker Star, really, it's... A mediocre Paper Mario game. That's what everyone's telling me. I know. I played it. I only learned Chapter 1. But uh, it's... I don't know. It's really your decision. Next is Naruto Powerful Shippuden, which is a rare game now, sort of. Um, I got it for really cheap. And, um, well, it's approved by Guy Sensei. <laughs> so, yeah. Next, let's see. We got The Legend of Zelda. Ocarina of Time 3D. Uh, I haven't 100% of the game. I have beaten it. Uh, my cousin Josh is beating it. And, well, it's one of my favorite Zelda games of all time. Next is Star Fox 64 3D. Um, I really wanted to play it because my friend XX Dragon Ball Z X4X DBZ was like, hey, Star Fox 64 is one of my favorite game franchises or favorite games. You can just, like, check it out and what's not. I don't know if he ever got this version of the game yet, but. I do like Star Fox. I like that game. So, next is Disney's Epic Mickey Power of Illusion. I was really obsessed with trying to get this game because, well, it's basically now the sequel to the Castle of Illusion games. So, that's why I really wanted this game a lot. So, next is Pokemon Rumble Blast. I like the Rumble games. 
But this one is difficult. I swear, this one is difficult. I beat the first one, I can't beat this one, and I'm close to beating Rumble U. So I'm like, what? Anyways, next is Shinobi. Now, there's like three different versions of Shinobi. There's one for like the Master System, one for like PS2, and now there's one for the 3DS. I have no idea if this Shinobi is basically a ported version of the PS2, or a remake, or just a new game in general. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I don't even know if it's a port or remake of the Master System version or whatever. I don't know. So, anyways, next is Super Mario 3D Land. Uh, haven't been. I I beat in the game. Have not completed it, but I do have the patience to to do it someday. Next is Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance, which is the 10th anniversary game, which I really like this game a lot. A lot of people hate it, or not a lot of people hate it. A lot of people liked it, but not to an extent, like more than Kingdom Hearts 2 and what's up. It's, it's, it's understandable, but I really like this game. Next is The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. My One of my favorite Zelda games of all time. It's really freaking fantastic and awesome. You have to try it out. Please. Please. Next is Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, another game you have to try out. It's just fantastic. It's the sequel to Luigi's Mansion for Nintendo GameCube. Just play it, try it, own it, love it. So, next is the Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 3DS. Yeah, I know there's a Wii U version. I have both versions of the game. But if you don't have a Wii U, I guess it's your best bet to get this version of the game. But if you have a Wii U, I think you might need the Wii U version more than this. No offense, Nintendo, I'm just saying. Next is Kid Icarus Uprising. So Kid Icarus Uprising, it's fun, but it's hard at some points. But it's also, also, gets your hands tiring, trust me. Try playing this game on XL, it's probably better. I haven't been playing it on the original 3DS model, which is smaller, so. <clears throat> Next, we got is Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I actually bought this, oh, sorry, bought these both. Both these games on the same date, same so day, same day, so launch day, and with Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U, and um, I'm actually playing both at the exact same time, so that's my first time ever in any Pokemon games ever that I'm playing both at the exact same time. The one I'm mostly focusing the most is this one first, Omega Ruby, and then when I get to Pacific Gym or whatever, I go to this one and get to the same spot and do vice versa. So, next is Kirby Triple Deluxe. Um, it's like, it's, it's like Return to Dreamland, which it is, but it's, I don't know, it's, it's fun. I, I like it. I mean, it, it feels exactly like Return to Dreamland, but it's also, like, cool things that you can't get in Return to Dreamland. Would you say that? So, next is Fire Emblem Awakening, which I haven't played yet, sadly enough, but I'm actually really wanting to try it out. Everyone's telling me it's a fantastic game. Everyone's telling me I have to play it. I will get to it, trust me. I have the game, at least that's what matters, right? So, next is Professor Layton vs. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Um, I read mixed reviews about this game, but overall, the mixed review still tells me it's still a fantastic, still a good game. Just not the best one, probably, but whatever. Whatever, just whatever. Next is pr uh, Project Cross Zone. Project Cross Zone, I heard a lot of mixed reviews on this one, but I personally think it's great. Uh, they kind of got the same engine as um, Robo Super Robo Tyson OG Saga Endless Frontier, which is a strategy RPG game with over-the-top like fighting mechanics. Which I like that; it's cool. I mean, there's nothing bad about it. So, pro Jared. Next is Sonic Generations, uh, 3D. By the way, um, I really like the version. It's very short, but it is fun. So I say try it out, please. Next is Mario Luigi Dream Team, which is oddly enough interesting because my cousin Judy, which you might have seen on uh, my vlogging channel, Shadow Nice Rex, she actually likes this game, which I haven't really played of, and she hardly likes any RPG games, so that's really interesting. Good job, guys. And last but not least is Bravely Default, another RPG game, but they're just like Final Fantasy because there's a Square Enix, and they're going back to Final Fantasy like style of the games. Of a new franchise called Bravely Default or the Bravely franchise, because well, uh, the next game is called Bravely Second, and that's the word name in there is still Bravely. So hey, anyways, 
Uh, that's it for this video game collection. If there's any games I don't own in this collection, please tell me in the comments below to tell me why I should have them or should I play them or what. So, anyways, if you liked the video, uh, please like it, share it, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment below. So, once again, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys for the next video game collection, which should be the Nintendo Wii U. Which should be my very... Well, no, that's a lie. My second to last video game collection. So once again, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys for the next one, right? Bye.